So in this video, we're going to go through a slightly more tricky problem to the one that we previously looked at. Uh, we've got a box with a lid, has a square base of side x centimetres and a height h centimetres, as shown in the diagram there. The total surface area of the box is 400 square centimetres. Calculate the maximum volume of the box. OK, so there are a few stages that we really need to go through here. We're told that the total surface area of the box is 400 square centimetres, so I want to write down an equation that is the surface area is equal to 400, OK? So that's the first thing I really need to do. So uh, we're going to write down the surface area of this box. So we've got the base and we've got the top, OK? So the base is given by x squared and the top is given by x squared. So that's two lots of those. So 2x squared, OK? Then we've got the sides. Now, each of those are given by x times h, and there's four of those. So we've got four lots of x, h. And we know that that's equal to 400. OK? Now, that's the first equation that we've got there. The other bit of information uh, and hint is that we want to calculate the maximum volume of the box. Now, we're not... We don't know the volume, obviously, but we can write down an equation for the volume, and that will be x times x times h, so x squared h. So this is what we now have. Two equations, and we've got these two unknowns, x and h. Now, what I can do is because I have a little bit more information with the surface area, I can rearrange this equation to get h. And then, once I'm there, I can then substitute that equation into here, OK? So that I have the volume just in terms of x. Because I want to do some differentiation on that, I just need an equation that has x in it. I don't want that h being there. So I'm going to rearrange this first equation to get h equals. So if I subtract the 2x squared from both sides, OK? So 400, take away the 2x squared, and then divide both sides by the 4x. This is uh, what I've got for h. Now, this can be simplified down, OK? So I'd want to do that first. So I've got 400 divided by 4x. So a 400 divided by 4 is 100. So we're going to have 100 over x, which is 100x to the minus 1. And then we've got minus 2x squared divided by 4x. So minus 2 divided by 4 is minus a half. x squared divided by x is just x. So I now have an equation for h. I'm then going to substitute that into this equation. So x squared times h. So I now just have an equation that is in terms of x. Now, I don't want to leave it like that. I'm going to multiply it through. So volume is equal to x squared times 100x to the minus 1, which is just 100x. And x squared times minus a half x, so minus a half x cubed. OK? So here is my equation for the volume. So now what I want to do is I want to differentiate this because I want to find its stationary points. So dv by dx is equal to 100, take away 3 halves x squared. OK? So if I want to find the stationary points, I need to put that equal to 0. So 100, take away 3 halves x squared will be 0. So if I want to rearrange this, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, divide both sides by 3, and get the x squared onto the other side. So I'll have 200 over 3. So x will be plus or minus 200 over 3, uh, square rooted. Now, of course, um, at this stage, thinking about the context of the problem, x is a length. So actually, we can't have that negative. So we're just going to take the positive square root. So 
This is the only stationary point that I'm interested in. x equals the square root of 200 over 3. So what I can now do is I can determine whether this is a maximum. OK, so I would want to find the second derivative of the volume, substitute it in, and determine whether I get a positive or negative value. So 100 differentiates to 0. Minus 3 halves x squared will differentiate to minus 3x. So there I want to substitute in the value of x that I've just found. So what I'm going to get is minus 3 lots of the square root of 200 over 3, which is clearly negative. So x equals the square root of 200 over 3 is a maximum. So that, compare, that confirms that result. So now I know that's the maximum, so I can substitute it into the equation of the volume. Okay. So substituting it into this equation here. So um, square root of 200 over 3. Substitute into there, so 100 times answer, take away a half times the answer cubed. And that gets me 544 cubic centimetres to three significant figures. OK? And that is the maximum volume that can be reached with the surface area limited to 400 square centimetres.